Good morning everybody. Today's newbies video is all about dry stamping. I'm going to be using this Bundle Monster BMXL213. That's upside down to you. Um, plate and we're going to be going over the two ways that I specifically do dry stamping. If you have any questions or concerns, don't forget to leave them in the comments. And if you want to skip ahead in this video, I will insert a little index sort of thing but there will be links in the description um, of this channel in the little drop box down down there down below and they will be timed links so you can just click on the link to the topic that you want to look at and it will take you right there so you don't have to sit through the whole video Okay, in this video we are going to be doing something I don't typically do and I'm going to be doing the demonstrations on swatch sticks simply because I have some really fun nail art that I want to show you in tomorrow's video. So let's go ahead and jump into what you'll need. You will obviously need your nails or swatch sticks, your stamping plate of choice, a scraper, and then your uh, stamper. This particular one that I'm using is the Big Bling from the Clear Jelly Stamper. It is a, a clear jelly stamper and the pickup on it is beautiful, but I have noticed that with a clear stamper head that the polish seems to dry faster than on a regular stamping head. So that is going to be the first thing that we go over today is how to transfer a dried image off of your stampered head onto your nail. Okay, I will have my how to stamping basics basically video linked in the description below or you could go ahead and press the card up here in the right hand side of the screen or left might be your left, might be my right, might, might be my right, we'll see. But that is where I go over exactly how to stamp, how to scrape your image, how to pick up your image and all of that stuff. So. Just a quick reminder, scrape at a 45 degree angle and you can either roll or just kind of dupe your stamper right on top. And then you get your image. Oh, white on white. I hope you guys can see that. Now, as you can see, this is quite a delicate image. And when you, when you go to kind of position it on the nail and you're trying to figure out where exactly you wanna put it, actually, that would make a really, really cute galaxy nail if it wasn't so blurry. But you're trying to figure out how exactly you wanna position it on the nail and all of this other stuff. And then before you know it, the actual stamping polish is dry and will no longer transfer. It's happened to the absolute best of us. So, excuse me, you go to put it on. I'm gonna do it this way. Like so. And it doesn't transfer, see? Because it's already dry. So the way that you wanna combat that, instead of completely starting over, just grab either a quick dry top coat or a clear polish and all you're going to do is put a very thin layer of that back over top of your nail and allow that to get tacky. Uh, for me, at my quick dry, it's gloss sauce. I was going to call it sauce gloss, but it's gloss sauce by Sweet and Sour Lacquer and it does dry very, very quickly, which I love. So I only wait about 30 seconds, wait for it to get tacky and then you apply your stamp. So again, you wait about 30 seconds for my particular top coat, wait for it to get tacky, and then you can apply your stamp. And because it is tacky, yet again, or your nail is, your image then transfers. Man, now I really wanna do galaxy nails. So that is one way to pull dried polish off of your stamping head if you've waited too long to actually transfer it to your nail. Another way to make sure that you can transfer an image that you've waited too long to apply is to take 98-99% alcohol, soak a cotton bud with it, and then you can simply place this onto your dried nail, your dried polish, or whatever have you. Rub it in a little bit and it will make it tacky just slightly once more, making the image, the dried image, that was an awful pickup by the way, tacky enough to stick to the nail again. Man, I really like this plate. Yes.
Okay, so another way that you can dry stamp that I forgot about when I first started this video that I could not show you on a swatch stick, so we're just gonna use my poor little thumb here, is when you are reverse stamping. <laughs> Excuse me, instead of making an actual decal and going around the edges and cutting it and all of that stuff, peeling it off the stamper head, because, I mean, you have to wait for it to get dry to peel it off the stamper head if you do your decal on the stamper head anyhow. The other way that I really, really enjoy doing this is by dry stamping it straight onto my nail. And the first thing that you're going to need to do that or the way that I do it is with liquid latex because once this is dry, the liquid latex surrounding your nail is going to be tacky so it will pull the dried image off of your stamper head onto your nail. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you guys out just a bit so you can actually see the stamper head in action. As you can see, here's my stamper and the <laughs> excuse me, the little reverse stamping that I did is in fact dry. So let's go ahead and transfer this image. I don't know if you guys are gonna be see it or be able to see it while I'm doing it, but you're just going to place that smack dab onto your nail kind of wiggle it back and forth just a little bit. Do you see how it's kind of already, yeah, it's already down there. And being a completely dry image, it's stuck to the liquid latex. Pulling it off the stamper head itself, this reduces the risk of actually damaging your stamper head, pulling off the decal. Um, and it's just easier in my opinion. And then you just go in, break away the sides. And then you just go in with tweezers and pull off your liquid latex. And don't mind my busted thumbnail. I broke it yesterday. And then all you have to do is clean up around the edges. So there you have it. You have three different ways of doing dry stamping. One to put down a clear coat, whether it be your top coat or a clear polish, allowing it to get tacky and then go ahead and stamp that dried image on. You can also use a hot, high concentration of rubbing alcohol to make your polish tacky again, your base polish tacky again after it's been completely dried so that the image will also be pulled off the stamper head once it's dried or you can do the full decal image like I just showed you on my nail using liquid latex to pull the image off the stamping head as well. I hope this answered some of the questions that you guys have asked. This was requested for me to do and I was actually really looking forward to doing this one. I hope I covered it all. Again, check the description box for any missing information and links to other fun videos. And I guess that's it. Don't forget to click the little emojicon up at the top corner there to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And you can also check out the other videos here and here. <laughs> I'll see you guys in tomorrow's tutorial. Bye.